Hey guys, how's it going? Coach James here. So for today's workout, we have three different blocks, okay? So our first block, we have three minutes to complete 10 American swings. So we're gonna start in that good swing position, loading up those hamstrings, driving the hips, going all the way into that overhead position, okay? Or if you want, you can opt out for regular swings, okay? Whatever swing variation you wanna do, you have 10 reps. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go down to the floor. We have Turkish get-ups. It's just one per arm, okay? So we're gonna roll off to the side, okay? You're gonna press that weight up. Whatever side is opposite of the weight, so if the weight's at my left, my right side's gonna go off out of 45, okay? I'm gonna push through this foot to get up to the elbow. I'm gonna go up to the hand. Now from here, I'm gonna bridge. I'm gonna bring my right knee to my right hand and then I'm gonna come all the way up, and then you're just gonna reverse that from there, okay? And go all the way through, all the way back down to the floor, okay? So we're gonna go one per side on that one. Whatever time you have left in that first three minutes, we're gonna hold just a regular plank position. So core brace, glute squeeze, you're pulling that floor towards you, and we're just gonna hold here for as long as possible. Again, if you need to reset, I'm totally fine with that, okay? So that's the first block. You get a little one minute break. Our next block, what we're gonna do is we have, again, 10 sumo deadlift high pulls. Now in this block, you are gonna need a bench or a couch, something elevated. If you don't have anything elevated, you can use dumbbells, okay? So first one, we have sumo deadlift high pull. So again, pulling that bell up, just straight up and down. We have 10 reps, keep the bell close. Once we're done with those 10, we have renegade rows. So if you do have a kettlebell, I recommend going into a push-up position on a bench or elevated surface, and then you can just rock out some rows from there, okay? If you have dumbbells, I recommend just going off the floor and hitting those renegade rows. Again, fight those hips. You're gonna go with 10 per side, total of 20 reps, okay? Whatever time you have left in that three minutes, you're just gonna be holding a push-up position, okay? And the last three minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some dead cleans. We still need a bench for this round though, okay? So three per side on the dead cleans. So starting that deadlift position, just pulling straight up, okay? So we're not using the swing, so the kettlebell's in that dead position. We have to use our hips to get that weight up into that clean position. Remember, good 45 degree angle, Always keep the bell nice and close, okay? Once we're done with that, we're gonna go to our bench. We have single leg squat to box, but we're weighting it up. So if my right leg is my balance leg, the weight's gonna be on that side. I'm gonna squat down to the bench, come all the way back up, okay? Make sure your foot is straight ahead, your knee's not caving in. Squat down, <laughs> drive all the way through. Okay, if you need to go without the weight, that's totally fine. Or if you want to increase the range, you can hit some pistol squats instead. So eight per side, no matter what variation you do. And the last thing we're gonna do, once you're done with that, let's hit a good old wall sit. Put your points of contact right at parallel and you're just gonna hold here for the remaining time. So the way this workout's gonna go through, we have three rounds of this, okay? So once we get through each block, again, having a one minute break in between each completed block, we're gonna go through it again for another two times for a total of three times, okay? And that's the workout.